Today, Julie and I are headed to KFC, and we are just absolutely excited to try their brand new mac and cheese bowls. That sounds down-home delicious, honey. Up next, stay tuned. Okay guys, so what we did was we got one original bowl and one spicy bowl, and the guy said that we should get the meal because the meal is actually cheaper than the bowl solo. The bowl solo, he said, would have been about $13 for two, and with the meal, it only comes out to $10.86, and you get a drink and a cookie. Um, I'm really not into the drink and the cookie, cookie but we got it anyway. Julie likes to drink in the cookie. <laughs> yes, All right, sweetheart, so what do we got? Oh, wow. Wow, wow. These are freaking huge, sweetie. Yeah, they are. And here's your cookie. Okay. Comes in a nice package. Mm -hmm. It's got your calories count and everything, how nice. I'd nice. rather not look at that. <laughs> I'd rather not look at that. Okay. Here's your fork. And here's your napkin, sweetheart. Thank you. And they gave us a couple of napkins for extra. Alright, so let's see what we got here, guys. I love these containers. That does look good. It Here. smells really good. Smell the chicken. This is the spicy. Mm -hmm. And the chicken is the thing that's the spicy part. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, let me take you in for the much deserved and detailed original and spicy close up. All right, guys, and here it is in all of its fine glory the spicy mac and cheese bowl, brand new from KFC, $5. And that includes a cookie and a drink okay guys and here it is in all of its fine glory the original mac and cheese bowl and that looks really really good you got the chicken on top you got a little shredded cheese and then you got the mac and cheese and julie and i are going to try this out and tell you exactly what we think okay guys so i guess you're going to try yours oh, you, yep. you don't want the spicy but you're going to try it though right so let me try let me try let the me try no, we'll try it together. Okay. All right, guys, what do we say? Salute. Salute. The macaroni is absolutely cooked, mm -hmm. overdone. It's the same. It is hot, meaning spicy. The mac and cheese does not have a deep, rich cheddar flavor. It's really the same creamy mess that we got in Florida. Not cheesy, don't taste it. Yeah, it's um it's got the mouthfeel of being very creamy, mm -hmm. but in terms of a cheese flavor, yeah. absolutely zero. Yeah. I agree. This is horrible, That's guys. Really this is horrible. Um this is the same recipe that we got in Florida, and that was a total disappointment. Yeah. This is the same thing, guys. This is um, this is not home cooking. This is this is real, real horrible. Let me mm. try one of the pieces of chicken, though. Chicken and a little mac and cheese together. Mm. The chicken is really good. When you mix the chicken in, it's better, yeah. but it's still it's still beat. This is not a real mac and cheese by my standards or even your standards. Yeah, because we like we like ours really cheesy. I mean, it's really good because it's creamy in that respect. Um, so it is good. Well, in the respect that it's nice and creamy, mm -hmm. in the respect that it's a little buttery, but it's not what 
it's not what I look for in a mac and cheese. Well, I like, what do you I look like for? More, I like more of the cheese, cheesy, sharp cheddar flavor to come out. Okay. And you don't really taste this. this so you more. think you still think it's good? It's okay. It's okay. Um, I wouldn't rave over it. Would you recommend it to uh, the audience? Well, because you're it's, one saying it's good, and I'm like trashing it. So, <laughs> because go ahead. So tell me what what's I your. I think you know it's how they've been doing their mac and cheese for a long time, and they've been around a long time. So if you're really conditioned to expect this way of macaroni and cheese, because that's what makes you think of KFC, then yeah, of course I recommend it. You know, certain things appeal to you because it brings back memories of eating things, and this lives up to that. Um, you know, and and um, I think in that respect, it's really good. I don't, I don't think it's very cheesy, but you know, it's not the same as terrible for me. It's on just a, different. Well, that's why you're giving your opinion. So, it's on a different. scale from zero to ten, with zero being the worst and ten being the very best, I would get, I'd give it a six. About, you know, average. Okay, so that's your good range is six? Well, because it's good, it's not terrible. Mm -hmm. um, it's not outstanding because of what I'm looking for. But to somebody else, they might think this is outstanding because this is what they like as a macaroni and cheese, but not for me. So, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, so in terms of my, my rating of this, I am going to give this a five all day, guys, and it's not because of the mac and cheese. It is because of the the chicken that's inside. I just think it's fantastic. But uh, five all day, guys. I'm not really happy with the mac and cheese. It's really creamy. It's not cheddary. I. Uh, you're gonna try that. Okay, let me try yours real quick. Um, yeah, it's. Uh, it's it's really the same kind of stuff that we got down in Florida, which I was really not happy with, and it's um, I don't really consider this mac and cheese. Uh, it's not the way I've been brought up to enjoy mac and cheese. I enjoy a very very deep, rich, cheddary cheese, and this is um, no real cheese flavor whatsoever. You're getting a lot of creaminess, creaminess, and buttery, mm -hmm. but that's it. So. Yeah. Let me try the original. The spicy is really good. I really mm. like the spice, the chicken. Mm -hmm. Tender. It does add to the macaroni and cheese. Yeah. It's um the noodles are cooked cooked definitely too long. It's it's not cheddary, it's not cheesy for me. It is buttery. Yeah. But when you add the chicken, it is a five for me. And what what did you give it? If you don't mind me going back. I gave, I gave it a six. Okay. So Julie gave it oh, well, a six. I gave it. I gave the macaroni and cheese and six. I would give it a little bit more because the chicken, I think, is really outstanding. Oh so. well, what would you give the whole so make, bowl? Uh, Not just think, the mac and cheese. Yeah, I think because of the chicken, I'd, I'd bump it up to a seven. So you're gonna give it a seven. I'm gonna give it a five. That's a combined score of six. It is what it is, guys. Uh, you guys basically got the yellow slash red light. I wouldn't, I wouldn't go for this at all. No way. Well, if macaroni, if KFC macaroni and cheese is your comfort food, then they did it. They did it the way you, you I remember it and how you like it. So. But if it's not, you can definitely look for better macaroni and cheese. <clears throat> Chick-fil-A's mac and cheese is um, the real deal for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was really nice and cheesy. Oh my God, was that good. Mm -hmm. Anyway, guys, that was our review. If you guys like food reviews and cooking videos, please click that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you won't miss a thing. So stay tuned for more to come. Take care, guys. I'm gonna have a, one, one little piece and that's it.